Hello, this is Mark Sabatella with Mastering MuseScore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with MuseScore 4. The very first time you fire it up, this is the alpha release of MuseScore 4, it's going to bring up a dialog box to help you set things up, and I'm going to walk you through the accessibility uh, in that dialog, what you'll need to know. So I'm going to be using NVDA, and uh, because I'm not an expert screen reader user, I'm actually Folder going to cheat. View, Muse score four, Muse score four pinned. And use my mouse to click the icon to start Muse score four. Muse score four button, Muse score four pinned. So Muse score four is starting up. Getting started window, getting started, getting started. And it is now displaying this getting started wizard. So this wizard is going to have several screens to it, and they don't read their contents uh, immediately. So I'm going to kind of walk you through what's happening. In this first screen of the Getting Started wizard, it's saying, Welcome to MuseScore 4. Let's get started by choosing a theme. And you have basically two main choices, the light theme or the dark theme. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Tab. MuseScore 4 window, Getting Started window. Light radio button checked. This takes me to the, the radio buttons where you can choose between light and dark. If you want to use the dark theme, if you are a low vision user and you find dark themes easier to work with, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the right arrow button to move to the dark radio button. Dark radio button not checked. And now I'll go ahead and hit space to check it. Space. So now we have the dark theme. I'm now going to hit tab again to take us to the next area of the dialog. Red 12%, green 57%, blue 99%, radio button checked. So what this is telling me is these are color values, this is RGB color, and um, this is telling us what the highlight color that's going to be used within the user interface is. So again, if you have particular vision uh, issues in which different colors might help, uh, you can use the arrow buttons to choose different colors. I'm going to go ahead and skip that, but I'm going to hit tab to go to the next area. Enable high contrast checkbox not checked. Further high contrast settings are available in preferences. So the high contrast uh, button is not checked by default. I'm going to go ahead and check it. Space. So now I've hit space and it's checked. And what this does is this increases the contrast. It adds, it draws uh, lines around various buttons and does other things to try to increase the contrast which again depending on what vision issues you might have that might be something useful and you know if you are if you have zero vision then you can kind of skip past all of this stuff I'm gonna hit tab again next button and when you get to the next button that's what's gonna take you to the next screen of the wizard so I'm gonna go ahead and press space to move to the next screen of the wizard space. So I've hit space. We are on the next screen of the wizard, which again is not reading itself, so I'm going to read it for you. It says playback. Enjoy realistic playback for free by downloading our new Muse Sounds library. I would love to tell you that this is going to work and that you could download it and hear the wonderful new realistic playback sounds, but this will not be ready until the beta release of MuseScore 4. So we are going to hit tab to get down to the, the bottom bar. Download button. And now I'm going to uh, just hit the right arrow to move to the next button. Next button. Now that we're on the next button, I'm going to hit space to move to the final screen. Space. So in the final screen, there is nothing to do. It is just telling you behind this dialog is the learn section where you'll find tutorials to get you started. And it tells you that video tutorials require an internet connection. There's nothing else to do on this dialog, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. Muse score 4 window, Muse score 4, Muse score 4. Main toolbar direction is horizontal panel, home radio button checked. So now we are actually in Muse score. But we are in the learn section where all these videos are. Normally, you will want to be um, in what's called the, uh, it's actually the score tab. And what I think is going to be the easiest thing to do is just close MuseScore at this point. 
and restart it because that is then what MuseScore will normally look like. Rather than trying to find your way to other places from here, let's just go ahead and close MuseScore and then I will do a separate lesson where I walk you through getting started with the program itself. Taskbar. I use Control Q to close MuseScore, by the way. So that's uh, the initial setup of MuseScore. Again, uh, I, the, the dialogues don't read themselves, but if you pay attention to what I suggested and go through things in the order that I suggested, uh, you will get through that initial setup and be ready to start using MuseScore.